was I thinking? <sighs> Little hair of the doggy, that's the stuff. Good evening, billionaire Pomade Jaws, who was being treated at a New York clinic for an undisclosed condition, was struck and killed by a runaway truck yesterday. This news could have serious implications for financial markets here and abroad. Some billionaire bites a big one, so what? Would he have cared if I died? Huh? Where's Lupin? <laughs> Whoever you are, I should warn you, you're fooling around with Interpol. <laughs> I see you're someone who gets right to the point. Yeah! He yeah! All right, tell me what you want with loop on you, back shooter. You steal your voice or something? Huh? Huh? Wait a minute. Whoa! You're a woman. What the hell's going on? Huh? <gasps> be out stealing something or running for our lives or uh i don't know something I feel like i'm in a rest home here you've been on vacation two hours lupon tell him goyamon <laughs> hmm. we're artists we need an occasional clearing out of our minds and for that you need a nice quiet peaceful environment like this huh whoa get a load of this it's pops and he's being chased by somebody and there's a girl with him and she's hot what the hell isn't wrong with this picture? Well, if you're right, it's the end of the freaking world. Huh. This is too weird. Ugh. Hey, I've been looking for you. Uh, contrary to what you might have heard, my bedroom's not a drive through Are you too cheap to go for the valet? Will you let me? <laughs> Want to tell me who the hell these guys are? Mom! New York City! You're, you're kidding! He'll figure something out, right? Good idea. Okay, guys, it's Plan X. Right. Lupin, allow me to introduce Mrs. Laura Jaws. Whoa, hold on, Pops. Is she related to that pomade Jaws guy who just kicked the bucket recently? Uh-huh. She's his widow. Thanks for the help. <laughs> and now you're under arrest. Hey, hold on. Don't you remember? I'm the one who rescued you from the mafia. <laughs> okay, I'll look the other way just this once if you do me a favor. Uh, what kind of favor? <sighs> I'm prepared to beg if I have to. You gotta help Laura, she's caught in a jam. My pride doesn't matter to me, only Laura's safety. Um, why do I get the feeling there's a lot more to this? This is the Capo di Capi of the New York Mafia, Al Cabane. Charles was a kingmaker in international politics and not just cause of his money. He kept dirt, major dirt, and all sorts of world leaders locked up in his vault. In that machine there. 
Cobain raided the vault somehow and, well, made off with the machine. But he found out the machine was voice coded. You needed a specific print. His wife's vocal print. He's not gonna stop till he gets his hands on her. And once he's done with her, well... That's a touching story, but I still don't see how we fit into this. She does speak, doesn't she? I mean, it's weird. She hasn't said a single word the whole time. Take a look. What's this? That's the whole thing. It's a very sophisticated explosive device, and Jaws implanted one in her heart. In her what? What kind of creep was this guy? Yes, you see, I made your lovely voice the key to the whole thing. Well, one of two keys. You can't activate it by yourself. If you try, you'll get a nasty surprise, Laura. You never needed a pacemaker. I paid off the doctor to implant a tiny bomb inside you that would explode if you ever accessed the machine. <laughs> Not instantaneously, but after a minute. It's really nothing for you to worry about, just a safety measure. As long as the machine hears my voice first, the signal to activate the device inside of you will be overridden. You see, my dear Laura, this way you can never betray your husband. <laughs> your question? The kind of pathetic creep who doesn't even trust his own wife, that's who. The way I figure it, Cobain stages the accident, rips off the machine, then gets a surprise. Man, if the guy weren't already dead, I swear I'd kill him with my own two hands. What the hell was he thinking anyway? He was old. He had to see this coming. All Cobain has to do is grab her voice on tape and she'll die no matter how far away she is. Well then, it's smart for her to keep quiet for at least the time being. Yes, I would suggest proceeding with extreme caution when dealing with an enemy like Cobain. He won't stop. All right, you can count me in, so I'm guessing what you want is to have that device of his first stolen and then destroyed. I'm in your debt. Hey, Pops, how come this one's so personal for you? Uh, well... You're in love with her. I'm a public servant, that's crazy! <laughs> Cut it out, come on! <laughs> what? You're kidding me, Lupin, where'd he come from? I, I don't know, boss. Damn it all, he's gotta be after them free and files, damn it! No way he's moving in on this one, no way! I did all the work, me, I, oi! Boss, what is it, what's the matter? Uh, it's his stomach again, that is Madison. Here you go, boss! Hey, wait a minute, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Cobain hired me to protect this thing. And you know what a pushover I am when it comes to money. <laughs> You're one in a million, Fujiko. Take him out. Bye, Lupin. Hope you rest in peace. Don't be too mad, Kay. Don't worry, Fuji Cakes. For a guy like me, death's nothing more than a minor setback. I'll pay some company to put, you know, like flowers and crap on your grave every month. Mwah! Talker, that's all he was in the end. Speaking of which, now it's Laura's turn. 
Get it? Her turn to talk. <laughs> This better not be some kind of trick. Lupin's really dead. Just stating the facts, not making it up. I dare you to look me straight in the eye and say it. I don't have time for this. Now hand her over. Or no else. way, Fujiko. Ah. If you think I'm just going to hand Laura over, you've got another thing coming. Look, Inspector, this is all very touching. But I've been in here over four minutes already, and Cabane's men are going to be storming in here if I'm not out after five minutes. Sorry. But you know these mafia types, they're a bunch of hotheads. Come on, Fujiko, that's the oldest trick in the book. Dear me, I was afraid it would come to this. All right then, don't say I didn't warn you. So, how would you like to spend your last half a minute? Uh, hmm. You can just nudge me when you decide. <sighs> All right, I've made up my mind. Huh? <laughs> oh, that's sick! What's the matter with you? Oh. You forget how long I've been tracking you guys. I know everything about you, all your fears. <laughs> Quick, Laura, follow me! Shut up and let me listen for him. That way! No excuse! Sammy boss, the guys ran away and I lost them. What the hell do you guys think I pay you for? To be as freaking useless as the cops? Have some professional pride! <laughs> Not again. Are you all right, boss? Find a damn girl! And don't come back till you do! It's a wonder I get anything done. Lying on that alleviates your stomach thing. I didn't get to where I am today by taking a lot of stuff for granted. Get what I mean? I ain't moving until I unlock this. What a big pain in the butt. Hey, speak up. I can't hear you. Oh, uh, never mind. Just some girl stuff is all. Uh, I, uh, I was just getting a little warm is all. <laughs> Excuse me while I take a little look around here. <laughs> Thought I'd be the first to die. Ah, I don't need Lupin. I just need to be Zenagana. That's always been enough, and it'll still be enough. I'll protect you all by myself, Laura, because when you're in love, you have the strength of ten men, or eleven, or ten guys and three midgets, or let's see now. Don't 
die! No! No! <laughs> but I was sure I was. Shh, no talking. We're probably being followed. Those Cobain guys could be anywhere. But don't worry, I'll protect you. Oh, it's hopeless. We should just give up. Never, Laura. Oh, I love to hear you say my name. <sighs> say it again. Oh, Laura. <laughs> ah! 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 Who heard of a pitchfork in a barn? Huh? Hmm. It's a mic! Who's there, darn it? Come out! <gasps> Laura! Oh, no! Laura, talk to me! Come on, Laura, please! You can't give up now, please! I... Laura! Laura, <laughs> please don't die! <laughs> Pops! I... We tried. I'm sorry. Anyway, Lupin's alive. Look, if you want to get those bastards, hop in. If you're a little surprised to see Fujiko here, we'll fill you in. <laughs> yeah, it's more like it. I take back all that stuff about you being morons and mooks and such. Fact is, you're gonna help me run the whole friggin' world now. Everything ready there, Fujiko? Mm-hmm. All right then, here we go. Never, Laura. Oh, I love to hear you say my name. Say it again. Huh? huh? Shut, up, <laughs> shut up! That should be enough. <laughs> I stuck to something. Damn thing won't open. Of course what? it won't, Kabeb. <laughs> it's a fake. The real one's right here. I, Goemon Ishikawa, say to you, ha ha. What the? Why the hell are they still alive? Kill them again! And get that machine! <laughs> now the good part. <laughs> and by the way, that crap about taking back that crap, I take back that crap! Somebody get that now! Go on, lower it down! Yeah, good. Easy now. Don't hurt my baby. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Move it right now. <laughs> Say, by any chance, would this be what you're looking for, Cobain? It was right in your room where you left it. I don't know why on earth you'd abandon it. Let's jump him! Just say the word, boss. Wait, so what? You're telling me the tape was a fake? Fake? Nope. Uh, well, that is, I did screw around a bit with the frequency. Slowed it down just enough to make the voice unrecognizable. Weird how a cold bastard like him could create a machine that was... So sensitive. That's keenly observed, my friend. Yeah, well, thanks for the information. Now all I gotta do is kill you. Damn it, get my medicine! Here it is, boss! Right here! <laughs> now, listen. 
listen, we can make this thing messy or you can walk away alive. You gotta be kidding, Cobain. I mean, after we went to all that trouble. <laughs> then again, I do like my butt. <laughs> Most guys do in my experience. Yeah, you know, I mean, what would be the point in keeping all this crap now that Laura's dead? <clears throat> Better boy. Now I'm gonna be a real mensch and spare you your life. So take a hike before I change my mind. Thanks. It's been a real, well, blast. Psst, Pops, come on. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> Amateurs. All right, come on, hurry up. Let's do this thing. Never, Laura. Oh, I love to hear you say my name. Say it again. Oh, Laura. Hey, take it easy, Pops. I'll be happy to set you up with somebody when you're ready. No, thank you. Just beat it. I'm letting you get away. That was the deal, but we're not pals. Tomorrow, the whole darn thing starts all over again. You hear, you little weasel? Loud and clear. Sheesh. <laughs> catch you. I mean, catch me later. has all been out of shape because we sprung this old timer out of prison. Not her. Her I'd like to spring into prison. But she and the old guy think they're Bonnie and Clyde. Don't ask. And we happen to need him for a heist we're planning, so unfortunately it's a package deal. Somebody's getting schooled in this one. Find out who in. Can't beat the classics. Catch you later.